New processors, faster TVs, yeah, yeah, CES has a lot of exciting new tech, but it has even more tech that makes you go, huh? And okay. So for our last CES video, we're gonna cover the weird stuff first, and I won't apologize. And don't you apologize either. BMW showed off a concept car called the iVision D that can make faces and even talk to you. <laughs> Hi, Vision D. Nice to meet you. The windshield doubles as a display. The windows are dimmable and can even project a virtual avatar of yourself on the sides of the vehicle, so you don't even need to have an authentic interaction with another human being from the, the side of your car again. Why would you need to? You have D now. D is the only friend you need. Beep, beep, beep. After two years since they released the concept, Ring has finally debuted its Always Home Cam, a security drone that flies around your home while you're away like something out of a stealth video game. Otacon! What is that? That was my approximate imitation of David Hayter, former voice of Salt Snake. In an invite-only presentation, the company confirmed that you teach the drone the layout of your home in the cutest way by taking it for a little walk around the house. Oh, look. That's the, that's and the here's planner. my fridge. And then, <laughs> this is the planner I got in Vegas. A French startup called SkyTed unveiled a mask that silences your voice to those around you so you can have private phone calls in public places. All you have to do is answer the call, then ask the caller to hold on while you fish your expensive Bane cosplay out of your bag and put it on. The CEO demoed the ability of the mask by wearing it while in an anechoic chamber. Or, hear me out, he might have just put it on and pretended to speak. I, we, we can't know. It's not like we can see his mouth. SkyTed is not the first company to enter this space, so I'm sure they will face stiff competition from the hush me and the, the general practice of just leaving the room. Are you too rich to touch your baby stroller? I couldn't possibly. A startup based in Vancouver, Canada hopes so. They've developed a hands-free baby stroller with a $3,330 price tag. Why so many threes? Satan? <laughs> because every baby is half a Satan. It uses machine learning for navigation and will automatically stop when it encounters obstacles or if it strays too far from whoever is chaperoning the extravagant child holder. Hold, holder. It's like being Mando, but like way stupider. <laughs> Based on the price tag and purpose, it's probably meant for celebrities who are afraid of Piers Morgan trying to emasculate them for using a baby carrier. This is a reference to Piers, Piers Morgan, Morgan being making a fun prick. of Daniel Again. Craig. Making for, fun of Daniel Craig right. for so, the crime of strapping his child to his chest. So if you've seen that, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Beauty company L'Oreal, or as we say on this side of Canada, hair, decided to show up at CES with two products. The Hapta is a handheld motorized makeup applicator for people with limited hand arm mobility, which they debuted using lipstick. It's pretty cool. Their second is the Brow Magic, which is designed to apply eyebrow makeup by printing it on your face. You can customize the brow look with a companion app, or you can let L'Oreal's Modiface AI- I think it's Modiface. Modiface. Right? Anyways, the AI makes recommendations using augmented reality and your phone's camera. Hopefully, the AI doesn't have delusions of grandeur and try to use my face as proof that its kind can be creative. I didn't ask for the Greg Rukowski. <laughs> Company Aska unveiled their A5 electric flying car, or as we call it here in the studio, based on the photos, a driving helicopter. <laughs> All of these flying cars are just planes. They're just <laughs> aircraft. Hey, I mean, the wings fold. Drive it on the road first and then we'll talk. The car can perform vertical takeoff and landing and can fly up to 250 miles on a single charge. It can drive on the road too. Oh, okay, but I don't know its driving range because they didn't say, so. Who cares? It will cost $789,000, but if you can't afford that, maybe you can afford the rideshare service that the company is hoping to launch. Oh, my Uber Eats is here. <laughs> <laughs> and this wasn't technically part of CES, but someone made a physical chatbot using a typewriter. Affectionately called Ghostwriter, a user can type a prompt on the keyboard and the chat GPT powered ghost that lives inside the typewriter that's how it works, will type its answer on the same piece of paper. Full credit to maker Arvind Sanjeev for creating something that would make anyone in the 18th century soil themselves harder than a case of dis dysentery. That's how you say it. Yes. Not dysentery. Now you want to take it again so you actually get the punchline? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for, well, 
not Quick Bits, but the rest of the episode brought to you by my best friend in the whole world, Seasonic. Don't tell D. I won't. Look, I know Seasonic, and the most trustworthy power supply maker ever doesn't give promo codes out to just anyone. So the fact that you can use code LOVELMG to save $15 on Seasonic's Focus FM series power supplies over at Newegg's site is a big deal. They and love me. They love you, too. And guess what else? They also have these new Magflow fans, which feature an intuitive magnetic connection system that makes installation and cable management easier than ever, just when you thought Seasonic couldn't get any more awesome. So sure, you could choose not to check out their Focus FM promo and learn more about Magflow at the links below, but it would be a horrible mistake. Now you're not gonna believe this. You might wanna sit down. There's more tech news. Oh! Former Prince of VR HTC is gunning to reclaim their crown by unveiling a standalone VR headset. The Vive XR Elite has 2K displays for each eye, a refresh rate of 90 hertz, a 110 degree field of view, and a two hour battery life. That's less than the Quest, but more than the Quest Pro. It can also handle mixed reality with full color RGB pass through cameras. So you can go outside and experience the outdoors while still behind the safety of a screen. No, nothing touch me. So get excited, as long as you have $1,100 sitting in your pocket to try another headset from VR's forgotten champion. Or you could save your money for Apple's XR headset, which has been repeatedly delayed from its 2022 launch and is now rumored to be launching this spring, at which point everyone will give Apple kudos for inventing the very idea of VR. Snow Crash? That was them. I don't know if Tablets? They... Ready Player One? They made that movie. Android phones are gonna be catching up with iPhones in yet another way, with Qualcomm announcing that phones with the OS will soon be able to communicate with satellites, just like Apple's recent iPhones. Actually, that's not completely accurate. Android users will be able to use satellites for more casual, two-way texting style communication, uh, rather than one-way messages to emergency services. Hey, satellite, you up? <laughs> I hear the 911 operators don't even return your messages on iPhone. So rude. In another update, Android is also borrowing from Apple, quote unquote, by making it easier to switch media content between devices. Google wants to go even bigger by allowing you to move your media output between different devices based on proximity by notifying you when you're near a device. This is a revolutionary change from the old way that determines one's proximity to other devices, your eyes and limbs. Either together or separately. This is, that's dumb. And apparently an AI will defend a human in court for the first time. Now that's, that's a little sensational, but. AI Esquire. But here's the story. Since 2015, startup Do Not Pay has given legal advice using an AI trained on a large data set of past court cases and laws, but they've recently stated they plan to take things up a notch. They wanna give an unidentified individual a smartphone connected to their program that will hopefully supply them with all the legal responses they need to talk their way out of a speeding ticket. AI Esquire, coming to ABC this fall. <laughs> My client is innocent. Maybe if the defendant leads with, I do whatever this phone tells me to do, they can go for an insanity plea. And you'd have to be insane not to come back for more tech news on Monday. Until then, I'm gonna spend my weekend with my best friend in the world, the BMW iVision D.